Good evening. A big name in the airline industry is moving to southeastern Minnesota. Aircraft support company Steiner is relocating from Egan to Blooming Prairie. The company was purchased last year by a Blooming Prairie native. KTTC Zuba Ali met with him today to learn more about the big decision, and uh, she joins us live in our studio with more. Big news for Blooming Prairie. Very big news, Tom. And Steiner specializes in things like maintenance lifts and aircraft passenger stairways, with one in particular that has a very well-known user. The president walks down our stairs when he gets off of Air Force One. That's Craig Kruckerberg talking about one of the signature pieces of equipment his company Steiner produces. Ground support equipment is just our launching pad. Um, right now we supply um, all the commercial airlines, we supply the Air Force, the Navy. And now all that work will be done in Blooming Prairie. Steiner employs 20 people, but not everyone will be making the move south from Egan, so that means some new faces. I'll start hiring the young guys out of welding school, get them certified, and my old guys can work with them for three, four years before they decide to retire. Tom Carlson is one of those employees looking to retire soon. Steiner has been my life for over 50 years. I'm a long-term employee. A long-term employee because of the work environment and the quality of the work they do. It's encouraging. I mean, it, it shows that at the highest level, our products are reaching the use they were designed to be used for. As the company makes its way to Blooming Prairie, Kruckerberg has his eyes set on new ventures. Steiner is really, really focused on government, but we will stay there, but we will grow it to other industries. That growth right here in southeastern Minnesota. Any, anything brought into small communities is a, is a good thing. Krockerberg says about 70% of Steiner's business comes from the government. He hopes operations in Blooming Prairie will be in full, full swing by November. Live in studio, Uvali, KTTC News.